Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for y'all today. So, um, first of all, I just want to apologize for my absence last week. I was really swamped with personal readings and then that on top of just personal stuff going on, I was exhausted and I did not really have time to get out a reading for you guys and I'm sorry about that. Um, hopefully we won't have another week like that for some time. So, um, anyway, I thought we would do something kind of fun today, hopefully. Um, our topic is, what is the future of my relationship with this person? So, I'm, I'm kind of getting the vibe like this is going to be geared more towards people who are in already in relationships with somebody or you are, you know, definitely moving toward a relationship with a particular person and um, we've got four piles of cards to choose from. For pile one, we have Rose Quartz. Let me see that. For pile two, we have Selenite. For pile three, we've got orange calcite. And for pile four, we've got bloodstone. Okay, so I will give you guys a moment to make your choices and then we will go ahead and get started. pile one. Let's see what cards you guys have. So the first card that we've got here is the Fates reversed. So this card in the upright position talks about fate. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's fate, it's destiny. It is something that's just kind of meant to be. Um, in the reverse position though, this a lot of times talks about It talks about acceptance. It it often refers to situations or events that are in some ways painful, events that we may question, you know, like why why did this happen to me or why is this happening? Why is this going on? Um and it's it's really a message that whatever is occurring in your life right now, it is happening for a reason, even if it's not ideal, even if it's not a super positive thing. Um, whatever's happening is happening for a reason. And the sooner you can come to terms with that, like the sooner you can accept that, you know, you, whatever's going on is kind of beyond your control, then the sooner you will be able to, I don't want to say appreciate what's happening, because you don't, you don't have to appreciate bad things that are happening in your life, but it's like there's some kind of lesson to be learned. Um, and so, long story short, this card is about acceptance, okay? And it's also a message that no matter what's happening in your life, things are going to improve, okay? Things can always get better. Even in, you know, seemingly bleak situations, even when you can't really see, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, this is a message that the light will come. You will find your way out of this on the other side, okay? Say, this situation will improve. Um, Next we have Make the Effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Um, we have Balance. And it says, Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of agreeing. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And then, for your tarot card, we have tarot cards. We have the Moon, 
we have the Four of Wands, the Knight of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Chariot. So, I mean, really the gist of the message that I'm getting right away is that your relationship with the person that you are thinking about is kind of at a turning point. I feel like things between you and this person perhaps have been somewhat strained um, in the recent past, and you may be starting to feel kind of exhausted by it. You know, the Five of Swords, this is like disappointment, this is, this kind of has an energy of a uh, apathy to it, um, of emptiness. And so I feel like, you know, whoever it is you're thinking about, perhaps one or the other of you has been kind of going through some stuff and your relationship has suffered somewhat as a result of those, you know, external circumstances. Um, however, what these cards are saying is that there's going to be a balance restored in this relationship. I see, you know, like I was, I was just talking about with the Fates card, um, the light at the end of the tunnel, the, the moon is about something being illuminated. It's about you know, what is hidden being revealed. So I'm, I'm kind of seeing this as that light being revealed to you. You guys finding your way out of whatever sticky situation you've been involved in, coming out of it together on the other side. I'm seeing both of you, you know, making a more, making a greater and more conscious effort to invest in this relationship, to move forward together, to overcome whatever has been holding you back. And I really feel for most of you, this isn't so much an obstacle within this relationship. I feel like you're facing some kind of obstacle just in your life in general, or your person is. And like I said, as a result of that, your relationship has suffered somewhat, has been maybe neglected, or, you know, somebody's been in a bad mood and that has caused a little bit of tension between you. But I'm whatever the case, you know, whether it's you who's been experiencing this or if it's your person who's been experiencing this difficulty, I'm seeing the other party, you know, I I'm seeing both, both of you, like, coming together to help each other through. You know what I'm saying? To overcome whatever has been holding the other person back. Or you, whatever the case may be. Take it how it applies. Um... But I, you know, when I talk about balance being restored, I think that also, you know, as a result of whatever the circumstances might be, um, there's been, like, one party investing a lot more time, effort, you know, doing a lot more emotional labor in the relationship, and the other person has not really been able to invest as much. They've just kind of been taking, like, sucking up all of the, um, time and attention that the other person is giving, um, which, situations like that can work in the short term, in the long term, however, you know, both, both people have to be putting in an equal amount of work, um, and I see that moving forward, that's what's going to happen, you know, whether it's you or the other person who has been doing most of the taking, I see, <laughs> I see that changing, you know, I see them finally being able to invest, being able to make a greater effort to balance out this relationship, help it to restabilize. Um, I'm also seeing kind of like a 
rekindling of like romance with the Knight of Cups. Um, you know, the Knight of Cups is like love offers. So I'm seeing you guys being able to spend more time together. Um, and also with the Four of Wands, similarly, this is like celebrations. This is having good times. I, <laughs> you know, I, I think that you guys are going to be given some opportunities in the near future to like go out together spend time doing things that maybe you haven't been able to do before or haven't been able to do recently um like going on fun dates just or or like day trips just being able to be together without having to being able to just be together and just focus on one another and also the four of wands of course is or can represent uh, marriage or wedding. So you guys might be going to a wedding together. Um, this could also mean that, you know, a wedding is in your future. Uh, maybe not like, maybe not soon, but like later down the road. Um, so, uh, pile one, that's pretty much all I've got for you. I wanted to keep this, uh, kind of quick and to the point. So I hope this resonated with you. I hope it was helpful and let me know your thoughts leave me a comment down below thank you so much for joining me today i really missed you guys and um i hope i see you next time bye all right Pile two, those of you who chose the selenite bar, um, let's see what the future has in store for your relationship with this person that you're thinking about. So the first card that we have here is exchanging gifts. Um, this card is really about like manifestation. It's about receiving gifts from the universe, receptivity, um, and also... I personally associate this card with surrender as well, the concept of surrender. Um, we have release your ex. We have only time will tell. And for your tarot cards, we've got judgment. We've got the queen of cups. Ace of swords. The hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles. So, what does the future of this relationship hold? I'm really seeing, like, a new beginning with you and the person that you're thinking about. Um, because we have, we have this card that is talking about release, letting go, detaching from something. Um, this is from the Romance Angels Oracle deck, and I don't often interpret these cards, like, literally. I mostly read these intuitively. Um, it's like the concept of the card rather than, uh, what it literally says that is what gives me the message most of the time. So this, I don't think this is talking about you releasing this person or anything like that, but I do think it is talking about a release, a detachment from any kind of like negativity that has been surrounding this relationship. Um, even like external, like other relationships that maybe have had some kind of influence on this. So for example, like a third party, um, and third parties do not have to be like other romantic interests. A third party can be a coworker, a friend, a family member, any, anyone or anything that is creating a wedge in the relationship. So I see this as you and your person in question, um, being able to, or having an opportunity to just kind of like release, release negativity, solve, solve some problems, find some, some, uh, solutions within your relationship. Cause I do get the impression that things maybe have been kind of rocky between you, um, in the recent past. And, uh, you know, we have all these cards that are, 
well, we have two cards specifically that are talking about like rebirth and some like a fresh start happening. We've got judgment and the Ace of Swords. Both of these are talking to me about a new beginning on the horizon. Um, judgment specifically, this is restoration, this is renewal, and the Ace of Swords is about like a new beginning based on openness, honesty, clarity, um, clear communication. So I'm kind of seeing this as like you and this person being like having a chance to just kind of clear the air of any uncertainties, of any negativity, of any kind of conflicts or problems that you may have experienced with each other. Um, <clears throat> the Queen of Cups, this card to me talks about unconditional love, okay? This is unconditional love. This is strong, deep, you know, emotions between people. This is a strong bond that you share with your person. And, um, I think this is really what's at the root of, you know, why this relationship is going to kind of get its second, get its second win, so to speak. Um, I feel like your, your love for this person and their love for you is what's going to prompt this conversation, this action, this movement towards more openness, towards more honesty, towards more transparency. Does that make sense? Um, we also have the Eight of Pentacles here. This is talking about hard work. This is talking about the effort it takes to get something that you want. So I'm seeing this as you and the person you're thinking about being able to, like, being able and willing to put forth the effort to improve this relationship, to take things to the next level, to resolve any conflicts that may be present or may have been present that were left kind of unaddressed in the past. Um, and this opportunity, like, this love that you share with your person is really a gift and this opportunity that you're being given to start fresh is also like a gift you know i feel as though with the queen of cups and judgment these are two cards that you know can indicate a soul connection um at play so i do feel like there is some element of like destiny or fate um to this relationship and the um this card only time will tell i feel as though as long as you guys actually make use of this opportunity that you're going to be given and you actually you know you you both put forth the effort to do whatever needs to be done here I do feel like this relationship has a lot of lasting power, uh, or, or staying power, I guess that's the, the, the expression. Um, I, I feel like this is something that could last for a very significant amount of time. We also have the Hierophant, which is, this is stability, this is commitment, this also can indicate marriage. Um, so it's very possible that marriage is something that is waiting for you guys um or at least you know that level of commitment some people don't want to get married um some people don't like the concept that's fine um but i feel like whatever the case is i feel as though you will have that degree of commitment that degree of stability with this person uh down the road it's going to be you know, the Eight of Pentacles are saying it's it's not going to be easy exactly, but it will be worth the effort, okay? So, you know, if, I mean, if things have been going really well between you and your person lately, then this might not be your reading because I feel pretty strongly like this is a message for people who've been struggling a bit with their partner or their person of interest. Um... And I really see things turning around. So if you have been concerned about the 
viability of this relationship moving forward, you know, I, I think things will get better. I definitely see things improving between, between the two of you. So, <clears throat> That's what I have for you, Pile 2. I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you some insight. Um, if it didn't resonate with you, I'm sorry. Maybe try choosing a different pile. These are just general readings, so they will not resonate with everyone who sees them. Um, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Uh, I'm keeping it short and quick today. So, um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye. All right, pile three. Let's see what the future holds for your relationship with your person of interest. So your first card is TikTok. This card is about patience. This card is about waiting, time, divine timing. We have you deserve love, forgiveness, and your tarot cards are the Page of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Tower, Ten of Swords, and King of Coins. Interesting. Okay. So the okay so the ten of swords energy here um before you get scared or anything <laughs> i feel like this is either the past energy of this situation sorry about this lighting it's like i don't know my camera doesn't know what to do with it um, I feel like the Ten of Swords here is either like the past energy of this situation or possibly even the current energy of your relationship right now. This card is about endings. It's about heartbreak, sadness. Um, it's, it's something coming to an end, something being completed that is painful, that's difficult. And I feel as though you and whoever it is that you're thinking about um up until this point or up until recently things i don't want to say that things have been going poorly between you i feel as though you haven't really had much of a relationship with this person at all um in the recent past which is interesting because you know, I had kind of intended for this reading to be more geared towards people who are currently in relationships or who are in, um, you know, relationships that are, like, moving towards commitment, moving towards, like, some degree of stability. Um, but that's not really what I'm getting here. I feel like whoever you're thinking about, I kind of feel get the impression that you are in separation from this person, actually. Um, so if that's not the case for you, for your specific situation, then this probably isn't your reading, um, because this message is pretty clear to me. Like, I feel as though you have little or no contact with whoever it is you're thinking about right now, and that sucks. Like, that hurts you, I think. Um, And I feel like you've been waiting for this person for a long time. You may have even, you know, decided, like, I'm I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to move forward. I deserve better than this. I deserve to be loved. And so I think uh, a number of you guys perhaps have actually, you know, decided, like, I've waited long enough, this person's not coming back, or they're not going to give me what I what I want or what I need, and so I'm, I'm just, I'm over it. Uh, that's kind of what I feel like some of you have done, not all of you, but some, and so I think some of you really have moved on, you have moved forward. Um, however, I... <laughs> I see some big changes happening. We have the Tower and the Eight of Wands. Both of these cards talk about change. Um, they're both kind of intense, especially the Tower. Um, 
you know, the tower is like a major unexpected change that just kind of like shakes you to your core. And um, the Eight of Wands is like quick action, it's movement, it's also communication. So if you haven't really been speaking to this person, I see that changing. I see some communication coming in. Also with the Page of Wands, you know, pages are messengers. So this is kind of a confirmation that communication is going to be happening. Um, the Page of Wands also... You know, pages being the first of the court cards, they have kind of an immature energy to them. I see them a lot of times as, you know, representing something that's just starting out. Or maybe hasn't even started out yet, but has potential. You know, these cards represent potential to me. Um, potential to grow, potential to become something more. And so I kind of see this as like you and this person having a fresh start, like starting over. And... With the Tower card being here, I think you're not going to be expecting it because, like I said, I I feel like you've, a, a number of you, probably a, a pretty sizable number of you have, you know, made the choice to move on. You've kind of just accepted that this relationship is a thing of the past or this connection is a thing of the past and you're just, you might even be, you know, seeing other people now. Um, and so that's why this communication, this person like returning is going to be so, um, so major for you because I think you're not going to be expecting it. And when it happens, it's going to be like, well, shit, like, where do you fit in now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but with the forgiveness card being here, I see you in this person like hashing out anything that needs to be hashed out um obviously if you were in separation then there's there was some type of issue going on um so whatever that is i feel like that's going to be resolved there's going to be some forgiveness you know what's done is done and i see you guys like having an opportunity to just kind of move forward together and with the King of Coins, um, you know, this is stability, this is commitment, this is consistency and security. So I, I do see you having a pretty stable relationship with this person uh, moving forward. Not, not necessarily a romantic relationship. You know, for um, some of you, it, that might be the case. For others of you, I see you just having a pretty solid, like, friendship with this person. Um, consistent contact, you know, becoming part of one another's support systems. Like, just being close. Um, so, so, like I said, not necessarily a romantic future. For some of you, that will be the case, but f not for all. Um, but yeah basically like the gist of these cards it, the gist of the message is that this is I, I feel like this is somebody for most of you somebody from your past really somebody that you you're not even really in touch with anymore coming back and uh the two of you working things out and being able to kind of move forward together and have a positive relationship moving forward. So, um, pile three, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope this was helpful and I hope this gave you some insight. Um, if it resonated with you, great. If not, sorry, maybe choose another pile. This is just a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone who sees it. Um, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind, right? So, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I see you next time. Bye! Alright, and lastly, we have pile four, which was Bloodstone. So, pile four, let's see what the cards have for you. What is the future of your relationship with this person? 
So the first card we have here is Regeneration. This is something new. This is a new beginning. This is something coming back to life. We have Romantic Feelings. We have this card which says, Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And your tarot cards are the Strength card, Six of Cups, Three of Wands, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, and Nine of Cups. You guys got more tarot cards, I think, than the other groups did. Um, so, right away there's an energy of restoration, of healing, right? with the regeneration card and with the six of cups this card kind of gives me a healing sort of vibe as well um the strength card talks to me about overcoming obstacles it talks to me about facing adversity um issues being resolved conflicts being solved choosing to Face whatever is blocking you together and overcoming it together for the benefit of your relationship. This message seems really similar to me to group three. So if you felt at all drawn to pile three, then you may want to watch that one as well. Um, cause it's, I'm just getting a really similar vibe. Um, we even have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords was also in Pile 3's, uh, cards. This card is about endings. It's a heartbreak. It's sadness. Um, it's like a painful, difficult ending, right? Cause Tens have that association with completion. And so, uh, In this, for this group though, I, I get kind of a different, I get kind of a different message from it. For group three, it was more like the Ten of Swords was past energy. For this pile, I feel like it's more a sign that, oh, okay, okay, okay. So... This is talking about like something has to come to an end before it can be restored, before it can be reborn, right? The regeneration card, it talks about something being, something ending, basically, and then coming back. Um, you can see in this image we have this tree that looks like it was struck by lightning, so presumably it, it you know, it's, it's all but dead, but you see this, these little bits of growth coming back up on it. So, um... This tells me, like, there's there's possibly an ending with this person, like, on the horizon. However, I don't see it being a, a permanent thing. I see it being temporary. I see it being necessary in order for things to improve. Okay, so with the Six of Cups, this card can talk about something returning from the past. So... I think it's possible that you and this person may experience a period of separation uh, in the future, in the near future. Um, Three of Wands, this is a card of waiting, of patience. I kind of see this as this connection being put on hold for a little while. And the, like, the, the amount of time that that's going to last is going to be different for all of you. I'm not really getting a time frame for how long this separation might be, but I do, I see there being one, unfortunately. However, like I said, I also see a return. I see the connection being healed, a new beginning. The Page of Cups, this is an expression of love, an offer of love. This is like something with potential, something that's just starting out. And so I see this, 
I really kind of see this as you and this person having an opportunity to start fresh, really, to kind of start, start over. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I see this card as like you and this person being honest with each other, expressing yourselves to each other, and acknowledging that the connection that you share, the feelings that you have, are worth investing in. Does that make sense? With this card, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. I feel like for a lot of you, this particular connection that you're asking about has been very draining for you. The circumstances of this relationship recently or in the past have been just not ideal and, and it's possibly even been kind of toxic and you know, you may be feeling like even though this relationship is not going anywhere or it's making me tired or, you know, I'm just not getting anything out of it really right now, you might be feeling like you can't give up on it though because, okay, so this is kind of a specific thing, but for some of you, you have been getting readings telling you that like this is destined, that this is like your soulmate or whatever, and that is probably true. However, that doesn't mean that you have to put up with anything that they're, you know, anything that they, they throw in your face. You know what I mean? Um, if, if they're not reciprocating, if they're not meeting your needs, if they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, then you don't have to put up with that and you can turn your back on that. And, you know, uh, it's um, just because somebody is a soulmate doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be with them. It doesn't necessarily mean that you will even have a good relationship with them. Um, and I think in this case, I get the impression like there's some changes that need to happen. And in order for those changes to occur, you kind of have to, yeah, there, there has to be an ending before there can be a new start. You have to end the current cycle that you're in with this person before a new one can begin. And that's not easy. And I think that's kind of where the strength card is coming in as well. You know, turning your back on this person for some of you might be very difficult, and that's totally understandable. Um, it's probably going to take a lot of strength and courage, but I think a number of you are already kind of aware, like intuitively, you, you've already had this thought, like, this is not serving me right now. And if this is really meant to be, then this person will come back and things, you know, will we'll kind of cross that bridge when we get to it, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I think for most of you, like, that is what's going to happen. They will return into your life in the future, and things will be different. Things will be better. Because we have the Nine of Cups here, too. This is, like, contentment. This is satisfaction. This is also wish fulfillment. So, like, you know, if it's your wish to be in a good relationship with this person, this is telling you that, you know, that wish is going to be fulfilled. But it's kind of like now is not the time for that. Your person has some, some, some things to do first. And I really feel like it is mostly them for, for most of you. It's, it's your person who needs to change, who needs to, I don't know grow, mature, whatever the case. Maybe they have some things that they just need to take care of. And, um, this isn't like, for some of you, <laughs> let me put it this way, for some of you this is not going to be what you were hoping to hear exactly, and I understand that, but I think most of you who choose this group are going to just kind of, I feel like you already kind of know 
um, you've already had this idea that a, an ending, a separation is necessary here. And so I kind of feel like this is going to be a little bit of, re of a relief to you to get this sort of confirmation. You know what I mean? Um, but again, even though I do see a separation happening, there's also a return later down the road. Um, they're saying like, don't, don't specifically wait for this person though. Like you got to keep living your life in the meantime, because again, like for some of you, this period of separation could last for a pretty long time, like years. For others of you, it won't be that long, but it's hard to say, um, cause this is for a large number of people, but that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Um, that was kind of an interesting, uh, message and it wasn't quite what I was expecting, qu not quite the type of message I was expecting to get with the, uh, these readings today, but, um, that's what the cards wanted you to know. So I hope this was helpful and I hope this gave you some insight. Um, this is just a general reading. So take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If none of it applies to you, then it wasn't your message. Um, so don't get it twisted guys. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this was just a quick pick a card. Uh, like I said, things have been, uh, kind of wild for me lately. I mean, I, I feel like I say that all the time, but it really is true. It, it, it just seems like it's always, there's, it's always something. It's like one thing after another, uh, the past few months. Um, but anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope I see you next time, guys. I really appreciate all of you so, so much. Bye!